I was on a customer call the other day and an interesting question popped up that initially I thought we can't really achieve uh, when using Barcada Guest. But when I uh, played around a bit with the platform, I was pleasantly surprised that yes, we can do it. If you haven't seen Verkada Guest before, I'd probably recommend you watching this video I'm about to share here for a general demo because this particular video is about a specific part of it and namely the invite system. So when we launched Guest a few years ago, everything was done when the guest arrived on premise. They had one or multiple iPads and they'll go through a check-in process where they would supply their information, sign NDAs, uh, fill up different questionnaires, take a picture, etc. Uh, but the problem with this is that if you have a big meeting coming up, uh, you'd most likely want to make everybody's life easier by asking about this information ahead of time so they can do it in the comfort of their own home. And then when they arrive, all they need to do is check in and not go through the whole process. How this worked is that for every single type you have and guest type, in within that site, we will generate a bespoke email. The host, the person who's actually organizing this event, will take this email and then append it to the invite, and that will allow the system to pull up all the guest information and then email them ahead of time. But what happens if you are expecting a guest tomorrow and for a particular reason, they might not actually use their email system? How can you pre-register them and bypass this workflow altogether. And this is where the website guest.vercada.com comes in, which is accessible to all the hosts. So you as an admin will import your hosts either via CSV or you use Skim to synchronize Azure AD or Okta with the system. And then the hosts themselves can access this portal. They actually use their email to authenticate. They don't actually need to log into command. And then from here, invite guests. Now they can use the calendar workflow and this is how they actually get access to that particular email that they're looking for. So you as an admin don't actually need to share it with your organization, but they can also put all the expected guest information here and bypass this. So now you as a guest will get a, an email notification uh, ahead of time. Uh, you click on the link and then you provide all that information. Once that happens, the guest information uh, becomes available in command.vercada.com. So any receptionist is able to understand what guests are expected and how many of them have pre-registered. And this means that in the end, when the guest comes to site, all they need to do is check in and don't go through the lengthy process again. And this makes it very, very interesting for sites that are unmanned. So let's say you're in a position that you need to have a contractor on site and you need to make sure that they sign an NDA before they access it. Well, this is where you can actually use the integration we have between guests and access control because the contractor will register, provide all the information you require, sign the NDA, and then through a hot link have access to the particular doors for the duration of their visit. Very, very cool because again, you can achieve all this without actually having a person present on site. If you want to try this yourself, I suggest you do. Guest is a self-initiated trial, so anybody can just go to commandoverkal.com, create an account and kickstart a 60-day trial. And if you already have Verkada products, you might have already noticed the guest tab in within the waffle. And that is again, because at any given point, all you need is an iPad and you'll be able to trial the entire guest experience. And if you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can.